Elena coming up next on the Chris Top program with her new single, Burnt Out. <laughs> Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> You can be the tech in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. <laughs> you can be the tech in the Chris Top program. Broadcasting live from my lavish studio apartment. The busy R and the did the did the was and that of that class back in 1970. We didn't know about the world wide web was a whole different game being played back when I was a kid. Wanna get down in a cool way? Yourself on a beautiful day. Big bell bottoms in Google Long Head. Just walking in style with a party full and a You can listen to the music on the Chris The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you doing, the world? So, Did you have a good day today? Did you get enough sleep? I think so. I had a pretty good day. Oh, I think our microphone might be muted. Oh, I think you might be right. Okay, well, we can fix that. Okay. okay, there we go. <laughs> That's why I couldn't hear you before. Uh, I got a notification just a second ago on my phone. Uh, today at the movies, it's two dollar popcorn. Oh, <laughs> it makes me want to go just for the popcorn. Popcorn. Two bu- that's like fifty percent off. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty good deal. You know, for a I don't know if it's like a large or well, I mean maybe big I don't know. Popcorn. Like a big buttery popcorn. It makes you just want to go to the movies, doesn't it? It does. The popcorn makes the movie better. I love that you can butter butter the popcorn yourself now. That's good. I don't because. Before, you could ask them for extra butter, and they would like fill it up halfway, and they'd put butter on it, like a lot, mm. and then they'd fill it up again and put butter on it. Mm. But now, you just have to put it all on the top. And you then by really... the time you get get to the bottom of it, there's no butter. Well, by the time you get halfway through. So if they if they would like fill it up halfway and let you go over and do it, and then come back and fill it up some more. I'm sure if you, d- if you asked to do that, they probably would let you. Yeah. I mean, they probably wouldn't do it on a Friday night when there's like a line out the door. No, they'd be like, I bruh, yeah. bruh. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> so you enjoyed that. What was the name of the movie that we saw? Uh, downsizing. Downsizing. Yeah. I liked it, but I don't think I liked it as much as you did. Yeah, I really liked it. I was expecting something different. I was expecting more comedy, I guess. And yeah, I, I mean, guess there I were, was too. There were funny moments in it, but I kind of liked that it took me on an adventure. Yeah, it did. It took you on an adventure. And I, I guess that I wasn't ready for that. I was ready more for laughter and a, like right. a good story. Uh-huh. And I just didn't feel like I got that. Um, I don't know. I mean, in some parts were funny, but it wasn't like I'm going to pee my pants funny. Right. You know? but, <laughs> but I mean, it was I okay. Yeah. It was okay. I liked it a lot. And I would I'm, recommend I'm glad we saw it. the matinee. Uh-huh. You know, because if I'd have felt, if I'd have paid full price, I'd have been like, ah, I don't know, dude. But, but it was okay. <laughs> I liked it. It was okay. I mean, I would do that. It wasn't like the secret life of Walter Mitty good, but yeah. it gave me that vibe. Nobody liked that movie but us. Are you serious? The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Yeah, it Nobody got horrible liked reviews. That movie changed my life. <laughs> it changed it. It got horrible. I, I loved it, though. I thought it was really I good. I love it. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah, but we like normal movies, too, in case you're listening for the first time ever. What I mean, normal we love the, movies? We love the Avengers. Yeah, that's Spider-Man, true. stuff like that. You know, we dig that stuff. <laughs> I was going to say, what normal movies like, do I I can't like? wait for the Marvel movies to come out. <laughs> yeah, I am I want more Thor. Yeah, so we can talk think, about that all day. I think Loki needs his own movie, actually. Okay, here's the question of the day, okay? I've got, and this has been a burning question that I've been, it's been going on in my head for like a couple of weeks. How does Superman shave his face or cut his hair or clip his toenails? I mean, dude's invincible. And I've, I've had this discussion with several people, and one guy had the, the most reasonable response. He said, well, you know, this stuff's actually dead as soon as it grows out, like your fingernails, your hair, and all that stuff, so maybe he can just clip it normally. But then I'm thinking, you know, Superman's been in explosions and he doesn't come out bald. So what's the deal with that? In the, in the newest Superman, the very first movie, he was sporting a full beard. So how in the hell did he shave his beard? I mean, he's Superman. He's invincible. A razor's not going to work. Dollar Shave Club's not going to do it. So I'm just kind of curious. 
think this really like frustrates you? It does. So I thought I'd kind of throw that question out there for everybody. Maybe somebody's got a an answer that I can one. sleep soundly on. Because people have said, well, maybe he shaves with kryptonite. Well, I mean, this last movie, Batman he was the only one that had kryptonite. He can't. Yeah, he can't even get close to it. So, so I mean, how's he, he going to make a like, razor out of kryptonite? I'm going to shave my face while holding kryptonite. Yeah, you just it's not worth it. <laughs> I mean, I think he would just have a full beard if that were the case. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Maybe there's. Maybe he there's wouldn't an even have the strength to raise his hand to his face to shave it. I know, I know. And we could have this debate for hours. We really could, trust me. But you're not here to hear about uh, Superman's the shaving great habits. Uh, we're here to actually uh, talk to Elena. And we're going to have her on here in just a second. And we've got her brand new single that I've listened to a few times just today. Uh, it's called Burnt Out. Have you listened to it yet? I haven't listened to it yet. Oh, you're going you're gonna to like it. Is it going to be lit? Yep, it's going to be... Bow too slit. lit. Too lit. Too lit to quit. To quit. Yeah. Was that good? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> you, I don't know. I have to sit and think said about no it. You said no first. <laughs> the top broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. What would you do for a Klondike bar? I would lick the hair from the soap of a dead man. Yeah, I get goo. I get shifted you. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Did you ever think you could afford an interior designer? No, way too expensive. Besides, I've got style. If you had style, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ouch. Interior designers are for rich people. Magnolia Emporium. Magnolia Aquarium? Is that like for some crazy flower fish? No, Magnolia Emporium. Randy's clients range from nurses and teachers to musicians, actors, and even some royalty thrown in there. Oh, I'd be on the royalty side. You really don't have any swag, do you? No. No, I don't. That's where Randy comes in. He listens to exactly what you want, whether it's spoken or unspoken. Okay, if you mean he can read my mind, there's lots of things I don't want Randy to know. No, he has a great feel for what he does. Okay, where can I find Magnolia Emporium? Just go to magnoliaemporium.com. We want your space to reflect your success. Ladies, are you tired of carpet munching? Are you tired of vagina on vagina action? And guys, is it time to lock that back door up for good? Are you tired of the same old story where the bishop meets the fireman? TCTP has a product just for you. Listen up. Introducing Homo Nomo. Simply apply Homo Nomo to your body and you will be Homo Nomo. That's right, guys. Time to say goodbye to the rest stops and the bathhouses. And ladies, you can finally dress like women. Maybe you've tried Homo Nomo and you feel like it was the wrong decision. Well, guess what? We've got some great news for you. You can reverse the process. For a limited time only, you can purchase Homo Samo. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to clean some carpet. Sounds good, Holly. And my back door, it's always open. Homo Nomo and Homo Samo are ready to ship today. Call now because supplies are limited. This product brought to you by TCTP. Has been a Chris Top Holly Stalin production. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top program. Mr. Pop. Take it from the top. You are absolutely, positively, 100% for sure in the right place. This is the Chris Top program. That's Bows. It's bows. Bows. It's popping like it's locking. Like a, no. Like a bows. <laughs> it's popping like a bows. What? I bruh. can't. I can't do that. No, you can't. I, I, can't I got the bruh that. down though. You do. You're like bruh. 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 a certain thing you have to do when you do. I don't know what it is anymore. It's just a thing. Because when I when I first started trying it, it was just really mechanical. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> bruh. You know, it didn't work. <laughs> But now I got it. Mm-hmm. I got the attitude that goes with it. It's because you've been around me. Yeah. So. Maybe so. Or maybe it's because you've been around me and I rubbed off on you. No, I rubbed off on you. Whatever. Bruh. Bruh. Wait, what's on your shirt? What is that? What does your shirt say? It's PewDiePie. It's like he what, has... Wait, what the hell's a PewDiePie? PewDiePie. He's a YouTuber. Okay. So what, is the, what does it say on it? <laughs> it's it's the 50 because he's got 50,000 uh, 50, subscribers. Okay. What does the back like say that. though? It's, uh, it's like dabbing kills. Just say no. Okay. You should be careful because you, you could at least put an eye out when you do that crap. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, Elena, how are you today? It's so freaking good to talk to you. Hi, I 
I'm awesome, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah, I, I know. See, we were just talking about that. I was getting on to Elaine. I was like, dude, the only time we ever talk <laughs> is when I got a microphone shoved in my face. Well, you always That's have it. a microphone <laughs> shoved in your face. That's you're, not true. You're the man, the myth, oh, the legend, stop it? the radio god, <laughs> the man you, you wish you could this. be. Stop. Chris. Freaking oh gosh! Tough. Okay, so so we've got a lot of catching up to do, Elaine. We've got several yeah. holidays and, and birthdays and all kinds of stuff to talk about. Yes. So this is only going to be like a six-hour show, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all in or not. For I'm six hours. <laughs> well, first off, I want to talk about CMA Fest and how amazing that was and how I feel so honored to have witnessed what happened. That was amazing. What, what do you mean? I don't know. What, what happened? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> I have no I idea. Have no idea. <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm so glad uh, that we have technology because it's all on Facebook, and, and we have went yeah. back and watched it so many times. Like, did you really? Yeah, mm -hmm. on the TV because yeah. it's so much fun. And uh -huh. and you know, aside from her saying yes, and then I do. Uh, one of my favorite um, parts of the night was when you uh, dedicated that song to me. It made me feel so good. Ah, uh, yay. Love for a song. That's the name of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I play the crap out of that. Um, and, I, and I put it on a little PSA. It's like the back. Well, you did a voice for that, for the PSA that I did. Um, but it's so good. It's like one of my favorite songs ever. And it's just a good, feel-good song. And yeah, it just, it's pretty dear It you. takes me back. You know? It takes you back. It takes me back. Way back. Way back. Okay. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> way back. Way, way, way back. back. Yeah. That was back when they used eight tracks. No, I'm just kidding. Eight track yeah. players. <laughs> I do remember. <laughs> I do remember using an eight. Have you ever used an eight track player? No. See, yeah, I know. I know yeah. you haven't. Did I know you, about cassettes, though. You did you use cassettes. You know about them. You, you know, I know about. I've them. heard of those. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I've used cassettes. Yeah. <laughs> My most sacred cassette ever was uh, Billy Joel's Greatest Hits. It had Piano Man on it. Aww. And. I had it in the front seat of my Pimpin' 1985 Cutlass. Pimpin'. In my G-Ride. And, and I'm vacuuming my front seat, and, <laughs> and it sucks up all the tape to, to my cassette. Oh, my God. That's what I said, I think. But, but, you that, me? <laughs> but that gave me an excuse to actually upgrade to CDs. Oh, my word. <laughs> Your vacuum cleaner sucked up the cassette tape. Sucked I would up my Piano Man. Well, it's like you can see okay. the reels just spinning really fast. It was like in a cartoon, no. and it was just, and that's exactly what it, no, and I couldn't get, you know. It's like you were moving in slow motion, but the actual yeah. action was. I got my pencil out, and I tried to, like, rewind it, and it just didn't work. Oh, it my. Did, it just didn't work. Yeah, when I was a little kid, I did that to my mom's cassettes. Like, I would take them, and I would just take the tape out, and she was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? That's so Because I was like three years old. That's so wrong. Maybe two. That's so wrong. Like, okay. I'm supposed to have morals at two years old. Okay, Come can we now. talk to Elena? We're hogging, we're hogging the, the show here. This is her show. Okay, so so CMA Fest, I think, was, was a big hit this year. The, the venue was, was great. You know, they were so, so good to us at the Commodore Grill and the Holiday Inn and all that stuff. And you looked amazing and as beautiful as ever. Oh, thank you. And you guys uh, did too. Oh, thanks. Aww. And and it, it, you know, <laughs> of course, you know, you you always have one of my most favorite sets ever. I love love watching you perform live because you're just so involved and you you're just so good with the audience. I think you connect well. I guess is what I'm trying oh, to God. say. Oh God, really? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, you don't think that? I don't know. I just kind of play. Well, I'd, I'd yeah. hope for the best. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think you, I think what sets you apart a little bit is you don't go in there scripted. You just kind of go with the flow. Mm -hmm. You're just being Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that totally works for me. That's what we do all the time. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah. Really? So, I mean, yeah. So, I, I really, really enjoy watching you perform every Thank single you. time. Every single time, especially when you dedicate one to us, then we feel all important. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I should probably be scripted. I should probably be more scripted. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> that would mess it all up. It really would. Then I'd be, be like, yeah, Lena's okay live, but you know, <laughs> she's so scripted. Yeah. Ugh. She's That's like, so uh, <laughs> she's just like everybody just else. Just like everybody else in Nashville. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so after CMA Fest, I know you had a birthday. How was your birthday? 
It was fun. Um, I work part time at a Mexican restaurant. Mm hmm. And I had oh wait I invited you guys there what the heck yeah I know I know you didn't I'm so come sorry to my party I'm so sorry <laughs> I just remembered that now <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't think about you that didn't part come to my party well that's why I'm asking you about it oh uh, oh well it was fun and we um, had dinner and then we have like the place is called Uncle Julio's Mexican and there's like a big chocolate pinata so like my manager is paid for two of them. Oh, like, like a like, a big chocolate this. pin. I mean, do you actually hit it with a bat, or do you just? Yes, yes. And you like hit it with a stick, and then like inside is like pineapple, cinnamon churro, strawberries, and they're supposed to be they're supposed to be blackberries. But on my birthday, they like didn't have any, oh. so like one didn't have anything else, and then the other one had like grapes instead. Well, you know, sometimes <laughs> you sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm I'm just picturing this chocolate pin. You hit it, and then chocolate goes everywhere, and then like the grapes, yeah. they probably splatter, don't they? No, nah, not really. I mean, they it only falls like four inches, and then like it's okay because like later on, um, a couple weeks later, like I walked into work and like there was a leftover um, package of blackberries, so oh. I stole it and I ate them all. <laughs> so you so like, you got your blackberry fits. <laughs> so yeah but i missed you guys there it was really fun and we were there for a long time we were there for like three hours <laughs> wow that's a good you sound, sounds like you had a good birth did you drink margaritas yeah i had um i had one so you didn't two. get like sloppy drunk or anything like that no i can't no. find like an in incriminating video on youtube no <laughs> okay everyone's like you should get so drunk blah 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 <laughs> no that didn't no. happen. Yeah, I just can't. I can't hold my liquor like I used to. So I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I had I two, two one time, and I was already starting to be like, okay, Allie. You Dude, need those to blue moons—they're stout. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm a lightweight. I mean, I stick with Coronas. It's like my friends make fun of me because I, like I Corona. yeah, that's all I drink is is Corona because I can those have two Coronas moons. and my nose doesn't get numb. So <laughs> I will never have a blue moon again. That was a disaster. Yeah, and we only got it because it had an orange in it. If, if yep. it, it's got to have we some kind of fruit it. on it if we, I'm going to drink it. We got it because it was apparently the equivalent of a Corona, but that was not true. It was so rough. It was so extra. Yeah, it really, really was. But extra anyway. that I didn't need. Anyway, moving right along. We're going to get to your song <laughs> eventually, I promise. <laughs> so, okay, you had your birthday. Now, how was Christmas for you? What, what did, did you and Adam hang out at Christmas? Yeah, I did nothing. It was so nice. Oh, that's a great Christmas then. It was. <laughs> I'm just used to like running around everywhere, you know, like yeah. During the year for musicians, I'll be like going, you know, nonstop co-write shows, blah blah blah. And then Christmas Day, I didn't do my hair. I didn't put on any makeup. I sat at home in sweatpants, and it was nice. Oh, that's it was amazing. really really nice. <laughs> and then me and Adam just like. Hung out there, and that's it. Do you guys get each other stockings? <laughs> Do you get each other stockings? No, we got each other presents though. Oh, okay. Well, what would you get from Adam? From Adam, I got uh, some chocolate. Yeah. Ooh. I got some bath bombs. Ooh. <gasps> I love bath bombs. <laughs> I've never tried them before. Please so we'll do. See. They're great. Uh, please do. <laughs> Did he get you some and... socks or anything like that? What? Did he get you socks? No, but mm -hmm. I, I do really need new socks though. I honestly do. We know it to get Elena for right. her next really, birthday. Really do. Yeah. I'm about to order some off Amazon, I think. I found a pack of like six Puma socks for like $10. Oh, that's good. So I think I might order those. You order you two packs and have enough for a long yeah. time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what did you get? Yes. What did you get Adam for Christmas? I got Adam a pirate jacket. Like the and... ARG or like the team? Like the team. Adam's okay. favorite team in gotcha. the world ever. Gotcha. <laughs> and I got him... <laughs> Uh, peppermint bark K cups for his for our Keurig. So, how do you like the Keurig? Um, I mean, I like it. I mean, someone gave it to him as a gift like three or four years ago. Okay. So, we've just been using it. I don't know. It's good. It's not like I mean, now they're like super freaking fancy. They have like screens on them and everything. Yeah. Well, you know, I I never <laughs> really kind of overwhelming. I never really got <laughs> into it because like if we're gonna drink coffee, we're gonna drink some coffee and not just like a cup. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. I, I just I never mean, really... I always keep it around a cup. And then oh, hey, done, Tegan. But... Uh, Tegan's in the chat. Hey, Tegan. Uh, she says hey, bath bombs hey. are amazing. They really are. Yes. They yes. change your life. And she's a chick, too, so she's going to know. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's up, Tegan? 
Oh, didn't isn't she like one of the artists to watch or something somewhere? Yeah, Tegan's like a freaking superstar now. Like Billboard or something? Yeah. You know, that, I, like Adam these, told me that. These I are the like, kind of what? people I hang out with, like Tegan and Elena, mm-hmm. you know? You Only know, the coolest. All these all these superstars. You know, they just surround me all the time. <laughs> they surround me all the time. It just I can't not and he okay, can't even enough. sing. Like he Wait. doesn't even have that talent. Why do you even bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> I just want doesn't matter. everybody to know. Why, why would she even Like, if up? they're like, oh, that Chris Top guy, he's pretty cool. I wonder if I could collaborate with him. <laughs> not not like that. You can't sing a song with him. It's Chris, true. do you still work at Panera? I do. Yay. I do. You should come see me sometime. In Clarksville? Yeah. That'd be fine. I'll hook you up with a Chipotle chicken avocado milk. Really? Yeah, about, I will. What about, like Cause, a salad? Because you're my buddy. I'll hook you up with whatever. That green goddess salad okay. is to die for. I'll do what yeah. I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do. <laughs> what if she wants the whole I'll menu? Throw you in a kitchen sink cooking. I don't want the whole menu, just like a salad, I guess. We'll figure it out. <laughs> you got to bring Adam though, because I like seeing Adam too. Oh, they have these green yeah. smoothies that are like oh, green passion fruit or whatever. It <laughs> oh is. yeah, whatever the heck it is. Oh, dude, yeah. if you combine that with the green goddess salad, it's like a match. Made in <laughs> She's all about some. It's a whole bunch of green. Mm-hmm. She, she really is. Uh, okay, now <laughs> I want to ask you for some advice, not not for me, but just for any anybody asking for a friend. Because you've been oh, in Lord. Nashville for what seven years now. I don't even want to say like six and a half. Six and a half, something like that. So I can't believe it. So you juggle a lot. I mean, you go to a lot of workshops. You do a lot of co writes and writing. You. Uh, you know, you're in the studio a lot. You you have a, a job, uh, you know, to help yeah. uh, support everything. I mean, how do you juggle this stuff? Is there like a secret recipe for that? Or or do you just, how do you do it? Um, a lot of discipline, uh, motivation, and um, time management skills for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like I can't live without my planner. And my friend Samantha actually for Christmas, she got me uh, something called a panda planner. Because I was getting super, super overwhelmed with everything, but the Panda Planner like really breaks it down each day for you, like mm-hmm. tasks, big projects, and everything. It's been really helpful. Okay, and you just kind of so, got to make yourself. Do you ever, ever, are you ever like some days like, why am I even doing this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like That's a week honest. ago, I think I was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure. off and on it's off and on you know and my friends my friends feel the same way you know anyone that you see you know i'm taking pictures with they feel the same way like is this worth it like why am i doing this is it anything you know do you know what i mean like i'm I'm not the only one you know we all feel that way sure sure do you ever have like little meetings yeah. where you sit around like it's an aa meeting and just talk about it yes <laughs> hi i'm elena yeah. and i'm a songwriter and entertainer <laughs> That's great. You do? Yeah. Yeah, my closest friends, we've sat down before and we're just like, oh my gosh, like, do you guys, are you guys like burnt out? Like, I feel kind of, haha, I did it on purpose. No, I didn't actually. <laughs> um, are you guys like burnt out? Like, I feel like, I feel like I just like work this part time job and I don't want to do it forever. And I'm writing songs and I'm just like putting my whole heart into it, but I don't know if anything's going to come out of it. And we all sit there and like vent and stuff and we just mm-hmm. like comfort each other. <laughs> Sure. Like we are in an AA meeting. <laughs> I, I would love to come and just watch some t- or listen sometimes because I, I feel bet like you that's have a some, good thing to do, though. I bet you guys like share some crazy <laughs> stories, too. <sighs> I bet there's some crazy stories that are shared. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. yeah. I mean, I've seen some of this stuff go down myself, so I know. Sign my butt cheek. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, it's chest. Oh, my chest. God. I will never forget that night. <laughs> It's going to be brought up every time. time. We talk about this like every time. Yeah, I know. It's like, where was this? The, the rooftop thing. Yep, yep. <laughs> What's well, that's the first time we ever met in person. <laughs> when you drove from Clarksville, that was so sweet of you. Yeah. Well, we had to come see you. Thank you. And we've seen you many times since then, too, though. Yeah. Yeah, we try Thank to. You. We've probably seen you more than anybody else just because mm-hmm. we love you. No way. Yeah, way. Oh my God. And it's really? always cool. Cause we've met other artists through you too. Like we'll come and see you. Then we'll stick around and we'll meet other, other people too. Like, um, yeah. Alyssa JC, she's on the show uh, in a couple of weeks and we actually oh, met her awesome. through you. Yeah. So, so it's pretty cool. Now I have a question. This one's kind of, kind of heavy. So Uh-oh. if, if you don't want to talk about it, that's cool. But I mean, you, <laughs> you're pretty, um, you're pretty open about it on Facebook. So I was kind of wanting to bring it up cause we've never really have. And yes. Uh, your PTSD. 
Yes. Um, and I noticed like your, your new year, you said you don't really celebrate new year, like other new years, like other people. Can you give me some insight on that or is that okay? I mean, I don't know exactly how to explain it. Um, uh, I mean, I love new years. I mean, the night before I had fun and everything, but for some reason, um, just, I had like a bad memory from like years and years ago. And for some reason, every new year's day, like without me even trying is like a panic attack. Like I was actually working on New Year's Day, my part-time job mm -hmm. and I was fine. And then, um, you know, the, maybe the wrong words or something will trigger me. And then it's like, I had like a mental breakdown Sure. and it's been happening like the last few years. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, so how do you, um, I mean, do you, do you see anybody for that or do you take anything or how do you, how do you cope with it? Um, I have a therapist that I see, um, every once in a while here. I haven't seen her, um, in a little bit, but I, uh, I was diagnosed with PTSD in December of 2015 and it's just been like a journey since then. Um, like I've, gotten therapy. I've done like EMDR therapy. Um, I started taking antidepressants, which really, really helped. And then, mm -hmm. um, a couple of weeks ago I started taking, um, anxiety pills, which mm -hmm. have seriously made such a difference. I feel so much better now. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, yeah, I'm not ashamed to talk about it. I'm really open about it. And I right. honestly hope that, um, I can talk about it more and more and like, maybe help some people. Sure. You know, maybe we could, have, maybe we could uh, have a show sometime where that's all we talk about. Yeah. Because no, I would yeah, love to, to do that. I'd love to fish around in there and just kind of figure out, you know, what, yes. what makes you, because I mean, what makes you tick because you're, you're pretty amazing because you, you have this. Um, and, and to me, and I, I've, I've never, I've never had it. I don't really know a lot of people that have it. Um, yeah. So, watching you, you know, you get up and perform, you're around all these people all the time. You take, you wear a lot of hats, uh, you know, as yeah. far as being your promoter and your manager and your, you know, you, you write and you do, you do everything. So to me, it just seems like it would be a little more difficult for you to do this stuff than maybe some other people. So, I mean, your, your motivation has to be through the roof, I think, to get through this or, or does it even matter? I mean, help me with that one. I'm, I feel like I'm way, way, way motivated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I, ha I mean, music has helped me like survive, um, like a really tough childhood. So literally mm -hmm. I, it's like, I almost like depend upon it, um, to keep myself going. But yes, definitely. Um, I mean, even last month, um, I had a show on a Monday night after I worked like doubles all weekend and I was so tired <clears throat> and I had like a breakdown on stage and I had to leave uh -huh. and that's never happened to me before ever, ever, ever. Like I've had a panic attack like before I went on stage and been fine, mm -hmm. but I've just never like had a breakdown on stage. But the more I post about it on Facebook, I've had people comment to me and say, you know, Oh, you know, I've never, I didn't know that about PTSD and it's actually been kind of a learning experience for me because I mean, I personally didn't know what it was until I was diagnosed with it. Like I'd never heard of it. Yeah. And I think it's kind of, um, uh, miss misunderstood. Um, like a lot of people think that it's just for people that were veterans or people aren't sure exactly what it is. Sure. So, and that's, I think that's pretty common. I think that's, you know, that's yeah. probably what I thought until I saw you talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, um, I mean, I'd love to like spread more aware awareness about it. And somebody that like really inspires me to do that is actually, um, Lady Gaga. Um, she's like, come, come right out. I think there's like a video of her online somewhere where she's helping, um, people at a shelter and she just like sits down and she's like, I have PTSD and is just really, really open about it. And so I take a lot of inspiration from her. Mm hmm I thought that was really brave that like you went on there on social media and just shared that with everybody. Cause I bet it, that was really hard to do. There's probably some people that are just looking at it like, Oh wow. She just like wants attention or <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I don't know. Well, let's I mean, be real for a second. You get a lot of attention anyway. So I don't think that's why you would do that. 
I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's helped me. Screw those feel, people. Screw them. <laughs> it's helped me feel better, but I mean, they chances are like they might not know like what I'm going through or might not have like ever experienced it. So it's like, I don't know. It's hard. It's um, I'm not a perfect person, and I don't want to. You know, I like I just I, I don't want to make a post just for attention or like oh feel bad for me. You know, but I just want to show people like no matter what you've been through or no matter what you're going through, like you can go for your dreams. Like you can do it. Like keep pushing. Sure. That's a great so, message. That is. That's a good message. I'm glad you. I'm glad know. you do that. I wish Elena. Yeah. I wish I could hug her. I like hugging Elena. Oh. I just want to hug her right now. Just be like, I want. I want Elena like to be like my life coach or something. Yeah. Now, you think so? Like, oh she's God, I, Okay. <laughs> hey, Elena, just so you know, Allie is a disaster. Okay, so it's gonna be rough. Whatever. It's, it's gonna be rough. I'm telling you. All disasters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so. We're going to have to eventually get to this song, but I have this burning question. Okay. Um, and Go for it. I don't know. you Is Adam around? That's not um, the question. But I think he's like in the next, I think he's like in the next I, room listening could, in. He might have to hear this one too, because you may be like, what are you talking about, Chris? But I. <laughs> I'm wondering what you're going to ask. That's no, the Superman <laughs> thing. Oh, it's a super, oh, okay. It's like, you know how Superman's all like invincible and stuff? Well, how does he shave? How does Adam shave? No, how does super, <laughs> how does Superman shave? Shave. Yeah, or cut his hair, or clip his toenails. Uh, I don't know. See, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> My theory is that what? it's just there, like it grew out to a certain point, and it just stays there. And it just I'm stays sticking, there, all perfect. I'm sticking to that okay, theory. But in that the, makes in the, the first Superman movie, he had a full beard. Okay, so, so that doesn't make any sense. What happened? I don't know. What yeah. about now Jesus? I don't know. What about Jesus? Like, well, Jesus isn't Jesus invincible, take? though. I mean, you you know, you you could hurt Jesus, but you can't hurt Superman. I mean, Jesus could shave with you know a big. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Superman can't. Why? Because he's invincible. His bullets bounce off of him and stuff. So if a bullet would bounce off of him, then how? Then would... a razor's not going to shave his whiskers. You know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those of questions. Question. I don't know, Chris. I think it's kind of an assumption. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. It really bothers him, though. It, it does bother me. And I just, I just wanted to, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to bring it up on the show. Uh, anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> of so, all the things that could bother someone. Else. <laughs> I can't help it. I've been obsessing over it for like two weeks. I was really afraid. Like before you asked that question, I was like, what is he going to yeah. ask me? I like doing that to people. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. And like the, the really tough questions, I'll just blurt them out. You know, usually. Yeah. That's right. kind of, that's my style. You got a boyfriend? Are you married? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you brought you that children? up. So how's the love life going? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, you. I know how oh, Allie's is oh. going. <laughs> Uh, good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, is it the same guy or a different guy? Yeah, um, Which, it's the same guy. Okay, so it's getting serious, er? Um, no, probably not. Well, he actually stopped talking to me for a while, and then he oh. came back and begged me for another chance. So I said yes. Oh, did you get? Did you play hard to get for a while? A little bit, yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> good. That's good. You got to do that. Do I need to talk to him? Because yeah. I will. You could. Yeah, I'll you talk could. to Maybe him. Maybe you should. I'll talk to him. Beat him up. Yeah, get me a social security <laughs> number. <laughs> Not his address. <laughs> give me everything. His give me everything. Give me everything all you got. The information I have. I mean, do you guys go on dates and hang out, or are you always busy? Yeah, yeah he's taking me on dates now. We go out to dinner. I'm like, wow, this is really nice. Yeah. Actually, dating in 2018. Okay. Now, do you, are you? <laughs> Nobody um, wants to date anymore. You know. How are you with the public display of affection? Um. I like it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like little pet names for each other? No. No? Oh, come on. That'll would, happen. Would you tell me if you did? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so it'll come. <laughs> Watch. Promise. They'll have a pet name. She'll have a pet name tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow. It'll, just, it'll just come out. It'll just come it's out. It's like, hey, can I be on the show again? Because I got an update. <laughs> update in my life. <laughs> That way you don't have to you don't have to wait like six months for me to come on the show again. Does he come and watch you perform? Mm, he's in a different town at the moment, so oh, stop. but he did one time and it was really nice. Okay, he's very sweet. Okay, well that's good. That's good. 
So you do make time for him? Yes. Okay. All right. But I'll talk to him if I need to. Just let me know. Uh -oh. I, okay. Thank so you I, very I much. Always, I appreciate that you got my back. I always got your back. <laughs> you know that. Uh, okay. Now let's finally talk about this, the song because people are like, I thought Elena was on here to talk about her new song. Um, what's going <laughs> on? Why do they get so sidetracked all the time? Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. So burnt out. So burnt is out. this is this based off of something personal or did you have a conversation with some friends? Did you co-write with, with or how did how did this come about? It could be something personal, I guess, but um, this particular song for once, oh my gosh, is not about anything in particular. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was my idea and I just like brought it to Adam, of course. Yeah. And we brought it to our amazing, amazing artist friend, Sky Claire. Okay. And God, she is so talented. You have to talk to her. Like, she's so good. I'll, and, I'll hook her up. If you, if you tell uh, me so to we talk to somebody, point. I'll put them on the show. I don't even care. I'll I like it. her name, too. Those are like good yes. names. Yeah. Sky. Sky yeah. Claire. It's a pretty name. Sky Claire. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. So, um, we were in a couple of sessions and. I guess that's about it. Nothing you know, too I think crazy with it. You paint an insanely great picture with this song. I mean, it oh. kind of puts me there. I mean, I'm picturing the video in my head, and and one of my favorite lines in the song, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing because I can't remember it word for word, but um, um, I'm striking matches while I'm standing in in your at, or in the ashes or something like that. Yeah, I, I just I love the picture uh, that that this whole song. It's just like this. It's just good. I was Thank listening you. to it and I was like, man, Elena's kicking some ass with this song. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So, Thanks for listening to it. Yeah. I only listened to it like three times before the interview today and like six times. Jamming out. Yeah. Jamming yeah. out in here. I had my headphones turned all the way up. I'm partially deaf. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's like every time an ad plays or something, like the headphones will be turned up. So I got to like take them off. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Um, okay, so is are we looking at a lot of singles this year? Or are you going to take on another EP or an album, or what's going to happen? Yeah, I think I'm going to go more of the single route right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm shooting for another single, and hopefully April. Okay, so you're going to make us wait till April. Yes, Dang. freaking a, <laughs> freaking a, Bruh. But no, we we got burnt out though before everybody else because it doesn't come out until like uh, two more days. <laughs> Ah, and I got it I like a week ago. I can't wait. I don't see how you do it because I know you're proud of it because it's really good. Aww. And then, how long has it been finished? Um, like a couple months now. How do you do it? I don't know. Just keep. It. <laughs> I just want to share it with everybody. I know. Be like, I'd be like, I just finished the song. Here it is. I just finished it five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so we should probably play it. We should play it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, for what, after people hear it, um, everybody's going to want to rush over to iTunes or wherever and get it in two days. So, I mean, it's, it's, is it going to be like the typical places? Yes, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play, all of that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So they can go to your they can go to your website though and, and find links to everything, I guess. Um yes, hopefully. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just be it'll just be like for um download. I won't have any like physical copies of it or anything. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so here we go. This is burnt out Elena right here on the Chris Top program. <laughs> To wake up in this bed alone You were the fire that kept me warm Till we watched the flame slowly die It wasn't cause we weren't trying But I can't keep denying We're a shooting star falling from the sky Crazy. 
That is such a great I'm moving on song because it's like it's like she's saying it's burnt out. I'm cool with it. I'm moving on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know, and it's like it's like she's not happy, but she's not sad either. She's just like yeah. sure of herself. Like it is what it is. Yeah, it just is what it is. I'm going to move on. I'm going to, you know, date other guys or watch the Home Shopping Network, whatever I do. It doesn't. <laughs> For the home <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Life goes on, but yeah. it's a good message, though. And I think it's a, I think it's a good. Um, I don't know. It's just a good. It makes me want to go punch a punching bag for some reason. <laughs> That's good. I think. I, hope. I think so. so. You can get your aggression out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I work on my cardio and listen to Burnt Out. Yes. <laughs> Are you hiking right now in the cold? <laughs> uh, off and on I am. I, my back's kind of screwed up again, so I've been having to take it easier. So I've had to like kind of cut my steps in half. So instead of doing ten or 15,000 a day, I'm doing four or 7,000 a day. And it's just like, Jeez. you know, come on, hurry up, get better. <laughs> you know, because like- I, I feel like I've accomplished something when I go, you know, do all this walking. Because I was getting up to like 20,000 steps a day. And, and it's hard to, to kind of pull back, Yeah, you know, cause I know what happens when you do that too, oh, cause yeah. you like, you get lazy and then you, you have to, yeah. you know, it's hard to make yourself do it again. Well, you've, um, accomplished so much and I commend you for that. That's well, thank amazing. You. Well, thank yeah. You. And I'm, I'm actually, I've got uh, something worked out with my chiropractor starting next month. It's like a a weight loss program that kind of goes with my, my chiropractor visits and stuff. So I'm going to try something a little new next month just to kind of, kind of energize myself again. So we'll see how it goes. Cool. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to eat pizza this month and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then next month I'll do whatever he tells me to do. I'll do it. So, uh, okay. So, so, uh, while the song was playing, we were talking about, um, EP versus singles. Yes. Yeah. So my thought on that, it seems like singles would be better because they would keep you current and in people's ears more throughout the year, as opposed to one giant shot all at once. And then it kind of fades away. Yeah. I love, uh, I don't know. I love EPs cause I love how it's like packaged as one kind of sound, mm-hmm. um, and the, in the record, but also I like e- I like the single stuff too because um, I get to put out more music more often. Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of split on it. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it's you know when you say it like that, it seems like it'd be more enjoyable for an artist though to yeah. to do the singles because you know you still get that exposure throughout the year. Um, but then the EP is like this collection of something that you've really put your heart in and put together. And I yeah. don't know. I don't know. What do you do? I don't know. Like the wrong side for me, that EP has like kind of one sound. And then my last EP, Wicked City, has um, the songs go along with one another kind of sound. And I'm just wondering what all the listeners out there think. You know what you could do? EPs versus singles. What? What if you released, like, say, four singles uh, throughout yes. the year, and then at the end of the year, put them all together. You put all those four on an EP with, say, two or three new songs. Ooh. Oh. That way, you kind of have the best smart. of both worlds. And the EP won't be as expensive all at once because you've already got three or four of those songs produced. Yes. Okay. Mm. So maybe I'm a genius. After you all. are a genius. <laughs> 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 yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good I'll idea. be your manager, Elaine. I got this. You got I got it, this. I'll have you singing at Chuck E. Cheese's you in no have. time. Chuck E. Cheese's. What? <laughs> what kind of manager are you? You Wait, promise great things cheese? and then you bring up Chuck what? E. Cheese's. They got the big mouse. Bruh. <laughs> you know, it's most restaurants, they'll close those bitches down if there's a rat that big in there. Five Nights at Freddy's. What? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so so let me know what you're going to do. Elena, when you when you figure it out on the EP or the singles, because I'm kind of curious to see which direction you go. He just wants credit. Okay. He wants credit for he it all. He just wants credit. Yeah, That's just like, you know, Chris Top gave me this great idea, <laughs> and this is what I'm going to do thanks to Chris Top. <laughs> Yay! Chris Yay! Top. <laughs> Yay, Chris Top for inspiring this record. <laughs> and just put a, put a nice picture of me on the back. Yes! You know, get my good side. Make me really look skinny. Really nice one. Make me look skinny if you can. I know it's tough. It's tough. We got to get it at an angle. I'll send you a selfie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Those are always easier. <laughs> Email it to me. I can make myself look skinny in the selfies if I if the lights just right. Okay. So, so I think we're caught up on the year. We've talked about burnt out. We've talked about PTSD, and I would like to to maybe get you on the show sometime and just talk about that because. If it's okay with you, I would love to hear um, some things that maybe you've had to deal with, maybe some things that led to that, if that's not too much to ask for. Yeah. No, I would love to do that. Okay. And, you t- tell me when. Yeah. yeah and, that would be fun. And make sure you have some Kleenex because, I mean, if it, if it gets to that point, you know, we can play some <laughs> commercials heavy. or something. Um, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's very and, true, though. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I would love to kind of peel back those layers and kind of kind of see what's going on with that because... Uh, I'm ignorant to it because I thought it was just, um, you know, I'm back from war and I have PTSD. That's, you know, what I thought it was. But yeah, um, I didn't know that it uh, affected just everyday, everyday ordinary people. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess we'll, I'd love to have that show. Yeah, that sometime. would be a pretty heavy show. Yeah, yeah. But Why it's is Elena. everything so heavy? <laughs> no, what is, is that? Did you just write that? No, that's Lincoln Park. Oh, see, I don't know. I'm not trendy. Lincoln Park. I like, listen to more independent artists than anything else. I don't even know what Lincoln Park is. I feel weird. What? He died. Oh, sorry. It was like, when was it? Was it last year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like not too long that's ago. so well, sad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I guess I'll have to check out the music then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, yes. Hey, will you tell Adam I said hi? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell him, tell, tell him I'm course. a little butt hurt because he didn't say hi to me butt on the show. Hurt. He's butt hurt. He is so tired. He's working an overnight shift now. Ugh. You know, I'm t- tell him I'm tired of hearing the excuses. That's what I'm tired of. <laughs> <laughs> he literally works from like nine to seven in the morning. Like he's like the warehouse night shift manager. Yeah, he, he works his ass off. Nine to seven. Yeah. He works yeah. his ass off. Ugh. That's he works very shift. very hard. Okay, so. So the uh, the single comes out in two days from now. That's ah, Friday. I'm so excited. Yeah. So are you going to have a big announcement when it's when it's actually released and people can buy it? Yes. Okay. So uh, and we can get it on iTunes. You said Spotify and where else? Amazon. Okay. Amazon, Google Play, Deezer. Cool. Cool. You know, I do like the big EP release parties that you have too, though. It's fun. It's so fun, and then you really get to fun. MC them. Yeah, yeah. Hey, anytime, anytime you need me, I'm there. 
Really? Every time. Yikes. Every time. And if you get <laughs> sick of me, if you get sick of me, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'll. I won't cry too much. Aww. Not yet. <laughs> I'll Not be okay. yet. I'll be okay. I'll be fine. Aww. <laughs> So what do you think? I mean, like, what's what's on the horizon in the next year or two? Well, I guess you're figuring that out with the EPs and the singles, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I have something in the works. Hopefully, um, I'll be getting to travel and tour more. Um, I'm waiting to find out about that. But that'll be a big announcement, um, hopefully, soon. Yeah. So stay tuned. It's going to be Wait, traveling awesome. like where? Are you talking about, like, coast to coast? Are you talking about outside the United States or what? Coast to coast. All right. Is this something you're putting together, like a tour? Well, I'm not putting it together. Somebody else is. But oh, so I'm, ask, I'm asking too much. Secrets. I'm asking too much, yeah. aren't I? Yes. Okay. I'll, yeah, shut up, Chris. I'll pull back. I'll Just pull keep back. your fingers crossed. Send yeah, some good curious. vibes. You got me curious. And I'm hoping that it's going to work out. I'm going to bug you like <laughs> in two weeks if I don't hear anything. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be texting you and be like, Elena, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Would you just tell me? Right okay. now, I'm just taking it day by day. All right. That's all we can ever do. For real. Um, burnt out. And you still haven't heard it yet because you had to go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom. What in the crap, man? I couldn't help. You couldn't wait just five more minutes? I literally like, couldn't. I was dancing in my chair. Like, I had to go to the bathroom. Okay. Well, you're going to have to wait and hear burnt out, I guess, Friday with everybody else because I don't know what else to do. I don't know. Maybe I could go back and listen to the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We can always play the yeah, show. Yeah, so <laughs> if you just tuned in, the show's about to wrap up. And um, those of you Sorry, that listen you live, I certainly do appreciate it. I always do. But if you want to go back and listen to the beginning, you can always go to the com. You can go to Spreaker. You can go to iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Player FM, uh, Blueberry. There's so many, so many places you can go and hear this show. And you're going to want to hear the beginning because we talked about a lot of stuff on here today yeah. and we played burnt out and you're going to want to hear that if, if you want to hear it now um listen to it now but but the deal is you listen to it on here you love it then you got to go buy it on friday right yeah yeah that's that's the deal because yeah. mm-hmm. oh i was waiting for that because she hadn't right. done it the whole show right. it's, it's a tradition <laughs> she hadn't done it the whole show i was like waiting for the hiccup Where is i'm gonna it? have to like go through all the shows and like put together something with their hiccups <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> yes, do it. Track. <laughs> do it. I'm going to have to do that eventually. It, it will take some time, but I, I'm willing to invest it, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that would be worth it. All right. So anything anything else? Are we good? Thank you so much for having me, Chris and Allie. Well, we love you. Oh, and it, yeah. You know, this isn't even an interview anymore. It's just a it's like we're just talking on the phone. That's all it is. Yeah. It's that's just all a it public is. conversation. It's like people are eavesdropping. We let people eavesdrop. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so do you want to take us out? Because I think Heck I yeah. did it last time. Heck yeah. I want to right, don't mess it up, okay? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> 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 thank you for listening to the Chris Top program. We do not normally ever take you for granted. There are a million, billion, trillion, quadrillion things you could be doing, but you chose to listen to us. And that's pretty cool, I guess. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. <laughs> Be a door, things might be looking grim. I guess it's time.